That'd be Saturday, 1734, 57 seconds, the year 2021. <laughs> the month 11, that would be November, and the day 27. And here we are in the bitchin' kitchen with mirrors all around us. <laughs> we got our foot flip cam so let's put the watch on here and get this out of the way of mother hover in a covered pie cram here and let's go outside because we just finished probably started at three or one yeah, it looks like we started at 130 ran right there 130 or two so three and a half hours later we just put in uh, replacement CV shafts and the mechanical horse out in the fr front uh, front driveway referred to as the uh, 1993 Subaru Legacy LSI, full power, all the way around. <coughs> Non-turbo. So here's the, let's had the flip cam here. Well, we better go get the, let's go get the, Flip the camera, and there we are. A little boobs in here. Let's say hi to boob. And we have the the firestorm. They have boobits. Yep, a boob man. Oh, here, man. I is hot spot. <laughs> and there's the rain shed. Yeah, we live we live with the natural inside the house. It's just like living outside. And there's our. Whew, Famous Smokio. Because of that and the Smokio, we always go over here to the Fanny E. <laughs> Turn the Fanny E on. Now, little, be careful, little Boba with the footer. She just started a little bit. There's the old electric eaters there, the double pumpers. We were gonna get the, let's get the flashlight is the original. There's the flashlight area over there. Keep the flashlights and batteries and some books. There's our water jug ready for lunch on Tuesday, Monday. Come Monday, there's the wood pile. There's the shafts in here, and they've been ripped for at least a year now. I just kept packing grease in them. So, this here is the left one. This here is the right one. So, and they are, they are a bit on the clunky side, ticky clunky side. Especially the clunky side on a steep turn, but... So we finish, finish the old mechanical horse over here. Got her all buttoned up. Everything's torqued down. Let's see if you can see anything up inside there. There you are. There's some fresh booty there on that one. And should have some. Fresh booty on that one. Now this booty is from a 97 and it has more wrinkles in it, which leads me to think that it probably lasts longer. Has more area to fold in. So everything's torqued down back on in alignment. Tools are put away. Tools are cleaned and put away. The camera. Everything's cleaned and put back away. Our trusty flashlights here. This thing wasn't running at one time. I went in to repair it and all that. And still wouldn't repair and I started putting it back together and all of a sudden, bingo, the lights came on. <laughs> I did all I could with it. And so let's go back out here to the firewood pile and put some firewood in here 
and a firewood bucket here. And we'll use the left hand here. Get us, get us a few pieces because we're going to go out on a test drive to see how everything's running in that car with the new with the sh replacement shafts and the boots on those things really needed to be replaced because i got those out of a junkyard and i could tell that they were old and starting to go but the situation is is as of now uh it's the way it is for now with all this uh, mask requirement in the Eugene Subaru department more than likely and I could go in there and give them a test and all that if I wanted to but only if I wanted to I don't have to if I wanted to I could just order some boots online and have them delivered but I was looking to see how far along I could get with those shafts before they just totally gave out. <laughs> I was experimenting. Put a fresh log in there. I, I was experimenting, so. And since I was coming up on us, the hologram winner is coming up on us, I figured to myself, well, Let's get them on turkey, turkey four day off weekend while it's somewhat nice out here. You don't have to wear a jacket. <laughs> don't have to wear a jacket, jacket today. So I says, well, I thought, I thought I had got some boots already. And one thing I like to note is every time I go out there and I work on the car, and it's somewhat moist in the air. The hair turns curly. Look at that. <laughs> it's just it's just curly as could be. Let's see here, where are we at? I guess we have to go that way. We have to get some good lights on that. Maybe we can get some good lights on that and see something in this mirror here. I guess it's just too shiny. But anyway, you can see. That's what happens. And it's been, it has been curlier than this, especially when I wash the engine outside, playing around in the water. So it's the moisture in the air that gives the curl, all natural curl, so. Anyway, let's put you back in the, in the little bucket box over here. camera fucking application with all this readouts on the screen always has a fucking strip of advertisement on the fucking side fucking it I don't like this shit fuck that anyway here's an all natural fruit drink with no sugar added it's pure natural fruits fruit fruit fucking right there so we're gonna go get in the car and go on a test drive Some replenishments. Woo. After a hard back bend, nice to have replenishments. <laughs> so let's shut shut the lights off in here, and we'll go for a quick quick ride around the freeway the freeway block. Probably be a three mile ride, <laughs> three or five mile ride. A coast through town and hey go boo we'll be back. You got foods and waters. Hey yeah. And then uh be sure that the cat door is op opens for her in case you never know. She might need to escape for whatever reasons. <laughs> or just wanna get out, period. <coughs> but with that fireplace somewhat going. You know, I've tested it many times, and, you know, it's very stable. 
<laughs> so we just lock her up. Turn out the lights for now. Head on over to the car. Put the gate open though. Ah. I've changed the shafts and these Subarus ever since fucking 1995. <coughs> I started changing out Subaru shafts. So I have <coughs> Mucho. Mucho experience. <coughs> We just put in the new starter last week. Not a new one, a replacement starter. And these are all junkyard parts that I always put in this car. Everything's from the junkyard. Unless they don't have it, then I acquire it from other places. And certain things I get, get at the dealer though, certain things. I've had this particular 93 Subaru since uh and <coughs> we can keep that right <coughs> I have to shut the it's gonna be kind of dark out here but I've had that particular Subaru this particular Subaru since uh, Let's see here. Probably 1998. So it's it it was five years old when I got it. No, nah, maybe not. I moved into the another house in '97 up in Washington State, Bremerton, Washington. And it might have been year 2000. I, I got it. <laughs> Oh, hold on. <coughs> we have to put the <laughs> put the wheel stop up. Everything's turning wonderfully. <laughs> ah, I had a wonderful experience on a Thanksgiving visit with the brother and the dad. Dad and the brother. And brother traded in his Grand Cherokee Jeep because it stripped out a, a coolant thermostat <clears throat> entry. So he said, fuck it, traded it in. And he had already put a new motor in it, but I guess he really wanted to get a, another Challenger <laughs> or Charger. <laughs> he wanted to acquire another charger because the last one that he had ended up crashing on him. So he had a bad night one night and went off the road. So it got totaled. And see, everything's 
turning wonderfully. I didn't hear any clicks or anything like that. So I'm probably going to want to go into the parking lot and do a bunch of circles, turn circles on these new, these shafts that I just put in so that I can disperse the grease inside of them evenly. So <clears throat> I'm thinking the local. room in the local parking lot though but let's see if I can squeeze something in here like we got an open spot here so let's go ahead and use this as our Funkly blinker here Just turning in circles we got people in the parking lot all around but that's oh that must have been a rock I just added a little bit of acceleration on, on everything. Now I'm gonna turn around and go the other way. Everything should be wonderfully lubed up now. We're gonna go on the freeway.
So here we are, 20 minutes into the video. And I always drive nice and easy around town, man. <clears throat> I've, I, I've trained. Uh, here's, this is the street that we're gonna go on to get on the freeway. And that's what you call a quick light. <laughs> Three seconds later, it turned orange. <laughs> so we're entering onto the freeway, and just as we enter onto the freeway, we have all we have a uh, uh, a T in the road where people can turn left or right <laughs> right at the freeway entrance here going straight so I oh, would just go nice and slow on that seems how oh, I just just going around the block on the freeway everything stays to the right and this exit and the, the entrance to the freeway and the exit to the freeway is both uh connected with a dotted line <laughs> so it's like one big giant entrance and exit <laughs> and it's not like you got to go freeway speeds on it <laughs> besides when we exit off here well, oh, we've got we've got a big traffic jam on the freeway <laughs> isn't that wonderful <laughs> Everything has come to a shit, shit standstill on the freeway because there must be something, something going on on the freeway. So. <laughs> of course, everybody's all sardine canned together. You know, I always, I always have plenty of distance. You know, lately in the last couple of years, sir, I keep plenty of distance in between other cars ahead. You know. More than ample, cup overfloweth with distance. <laughs> you know, because I've trained that I don't have to continue living like a sardine can slave where everything's military boot camp, butt to nut, nut to butt. But isn't that, isn't this a wonderful coincidence? You know, that the brother wanted to get out and test the, test the shafts, and and the and the matrix pre-programmed computer had a block up blockage ahead. <laughs> Especially because I've been putting all kinds of visiting all kinds of ports on this world. World Navy tour on the Just Play Man 5 CVN 2012 nuclear nuclear power. <laughs> and you know, it's Christmas holidays and everything too, or Thanksgiving holiday too, so You know, it's, it's, it's a phenomenon, you know, when everybody gets into this thing called human trafficking on these freeways and interstates and the streets, you know. It's a phenomenon why everybody tends to cluster fuck together like the uh, clogged artery coinage.
so here we are we got plenty of distance up ahead and in the sides and all that stuff and the guy behind me just <laughs> just just passed me up so that he could get on someone else's ass on the other lane <laughs> So here we are, we're getting to where the two lanes merge into one now, and so it's like everything's going slow motion. So I just put on the put on the put on the clicker and looky here. <laughs> so it looks like someone knows how to kind of verge a little bit. You know, why should I be in a hurry to, to catch up with the other cars that are ahead, you know? That's usually the mentality for a slave. But you figure, you know, traffic usually gets more unclogged e and free flowing when we put plenty of distance in between the the blood cells. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, wow, look up ahead, it seems like we have a clearing up here. I don't see anybody in the far right lane, so I can kind of speed up if I want, but I don't want to go too fast because someone probably is going to get tired of being in the left lane and dart out to the far right lane just to get off the freeway. <laughs> so I still go at a nice slow even pace folks, you know, keep plenty of distance. The cup overfloweth with the distance between the drivers up ahead. <laughs> Why everybody else is just Well, I'll show you. See? Everybody else is just all trafficked up and stuff like that. And here we are. We just, we got us a small, small train load behind us. And I, you know, I'm like the engineer. <laughs> then the guy behind me just, just started putting on the, the speed to pass so that he could past me <laughs> but that's up to him you know if he feels feels that he can get away with it let him doesn't bother me here we got all these semis semis up oh, here comes the semi he decided well he said well, he, he said well, he said hmm. <laughs> the semi said because well, you know, when I drive down the street, folks, it's like a change-up pitch. <laughs> it throws people off, man. <laughs> now we got a fair, a fair clearing, so it looks like the blockage is keeps going way up ahead, up toward Coburg. So, now we have a free clearing now. Everything's plenty clear ahead for us. So, we're just going at regular normal speeds up here. So here we are, I'm stopped at an unusual light. 
<laughs> and when I get to a red light, folks, I just sit there with the blinker on and don't even turn right. <laughs> because it's not mandatory to turn right. It's not a mandate. <laughs> even if it was a mandate, a mandate is not uh, it's not a legal written code. Now I got someone here pulled up on the right a little bit like he thinks that I should be turning right and he's looking to squeeze in a little bit. But, you know, that's his prerogative. <laughs> his or hers. So. But, you know. We can sit here as long as we want and wait for the light to turn green. Oh, there it went. So here we go. And he decides he wants to turn right at the same time that I turn right. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cruise real nice and slow because you never know. Some might, someone might want. Oh, now we got sirens or or traffic or cop, some type of lights. Looks like someone, a police car's pulling someone over into the AMPM gasoline station. <laughs> so you know. So here we are, the truck that turned for me is all, he was in a hurry for a red light, so he's still waiting at the light, and I'm, I'm just sneaking in up, off, up on the light, watching the cross traffic lights, realizing there's plenty of time for me to just sneak up to the light, <laughs> and I don't have to even get to a stop. I'd, I'd be like an 80,000 pound semi truck. <laughs> You know why wear out the transmission with a with a with a full stop you know stop and go just roll through it and keep the drive chain less stress on the drive chain you know what I'm saying now we have an orange light on the cross traffic so usually the turn signal lights go first so I'm still have plenty of room between me and the driver of the truck up ahead and I just inching inching away closer and closer just a little little bit at a time now it turns green and just because it turns green doesn't mean I have to stomp on the throttle I can ease on the gas and go through the intersection, looking all directions, and seeing everything's nice and clear and wonderful, and be all nice and relaxed. And, ah, even though there's someone riding on the bumper with their headlights flashing, I, I just dump the mirror down so now the headlights are dimmed out. <laughs> and now they just turned right. <laughs> Now we have to merge left. So we have the blinker on. Nice, easy merge left. So anyway, it looks like the CV shafts are passing. Are uh, seem in wonderful shape. No clicking, no jolting. The alignment's perfectly straight. <laughs> oh, we got an orange light here and we anticipated another orange light so we just started approaching the intersection slow anyway you know you gotta figure if it's been green for a while and there's someone waiting at the crossroads to turn left or or go straight or whatever you gotta i always figure folks that that more than likely you know that light's gonna turn gonna be orange real quick here <laughs> so, real quick anyway we're, we're passing uh, Sacred Heart Medical Center on the left over here uh, here's a, another red light that from a distance in the turn so we just slow down all nice. No use getting all up on the car's 
ass and everything to ride his ass like a butt fuck prison system. Fake king abusive stuck mud child bully boy society gay stuff. So we just nice and relaxed. There's no cars behind me, no traffic at all. Oh, we got a couple headlights turning around to bend now. But not a problem. They want to pass, let them pass. I don't have to go the speed limit. The speed limit is just the speed limit, folks. And I only, and the, the recommendation in the legal driving manual is that if you have five drivers behind you, five drivers, then have a little courtesy, pull to the side and let them pass. <laughs> But if there's only one, two, three, or four, nothing says I have to drive exactly what the speed limit is. I can drive as wonderful, relaxing conditions allow that I need to drive. And all this hustle and bustle and hurry and worry and rushing and crushing and bushing and bashing, smishing and smashing and goofing and gaffing. <laughs> Sounds like a Dr. Seuss Grinch stole Christmas. Sicking and shacking and bicking and bocking. Poking and pocking and dicking and cocking. <laughs> Nothing says I have to drive like a mad Motor City madman. We can drive nice and relaxed. The only problem is, though, is that most people think that they have to drive the speed limit and that they have to, have to, have to, have to, have to drive fast everywhere. Even when we go through one of the little turnpikes or the little circle drive things. Everyone thinks that we have to drive fast everywhere. And so, you know, I set the example for everybody and I say, hey, we don't have to be driving around. Un expecting that the king bully societal dominant fuck face fucker stuck in the mud cracking his whip all the time think that he's demanding that we have to no we don't have to so you know but you know I had to I, I started a training program, folks, and I've been training now for this driving thing ever since, fuck, I started kind of driving again around, when was it, 2014? So, from 2014 till now, this is 2021, this is seven years of training, uh, progressing to be more relaxed on the streets and driving more generally according to con as conditions allow. And remember, conditions does not just refer to the weather, folks. It refers to every condition, generally. That includes if I, if I have a sore back. And to drive faster is too much tension. And I need to drive slower and just loosen the tension in the back.
this is this is wonderful. We have uh, shafts and boots, and we feel more secure now that these <clears throat> that the shafts are stable. We don't have to worry that the shafts might break on us because of the cold weather, give out on us because the cold weather or whatever could happen. You never know. But we never really did get to get, get up to freeway speeds, so, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking to myself, eh, there's another different freeway over here we could could have got on, but I'm thinking, eh, well, we shall drive to work. Oh, hold on, we might have some mail over here. I'm supposed to get a Jackie in the mail. <coughs> Let's inspect the mailbox. The email said that the Jackie should be here today through the USPS. So, I shall be back. And sure enough, sure enough, the Jackie has arrived in the package. <laughs> I was a bit concerned earlier today. <laughs> <coughs> I was concerned because a FedEx truck passed and I didn't have the numbers on the house. So I called them up, gave them the tracking number, and they said they didn't have a tracking number. So then I went and examined the tracking number on eBay, and they said that they sent it through USPS, which is the US Postal Service. Which, on a side note, is different from the postal office. The service is legal. The office is lawful. <laughs> so.
so here we are we have arrived we put a new thermostat in the car new fluid in the radiator replace the starter and now we just replace the CV shafts <laughs> it's been quite an eventful November <laughs> for car maintenance and we're still waiting on the getting that water pump replaced but because uh, we're going through a reservoir of res fluid fluid reservoir full full reservoir we're, we're going through a full re fluid reservoir overflow reservoir once a week Well, get the twisty light up over here. I just I just twist the light on up there with the hand to get it to turn on. Sure have had.